Hey guys, I am so excited about today's video. I am gonna be teaching you how you can get started couponing with just $10. So if you wanna learn how to start saving money and not have to spend a lot of money initially for your initial investment, definitely stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Brie the Coupon Queen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a current subscriber. My channel is all about ways that you can save money with couponing, with rebate apps, and with some budgeting tips. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely take a second, hit that red subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And you'll know on this channel, we love a good freebie. Also hit that notification bell so when I post new content, you'll be notified and you can check out the different deals going on or the strategies that you can implement as well to help you save hundreds of dollars every single month. So before I get into the five steps to get you started couponing with only $10 out of pocket, I wanna go over a couple different ways to look at couponing and how I've been able to use it as a vehicle to get me to pay off my debt. So number one, there's a couple different ways to look at couponing. You can either focus on how much products you're getting and how much rewards you're getting back. An example, Walgreens cash, register rewards, extra bucks, so on and so forth. Or you can focus on your out-of-pocket cost, which is what I do. So that is what I always teach and that's how I have been able to use the money that I'm actually saving to pay off debt. I personally use couponing as a vehicle to get me from point A with the debt that I have to point B with that debt being paid off. So every year I pick one form of debt to focus on and pay off. So a couple years ago, I paid off my credit card bills. Last year, I paid off my truck payment early so that way I don't have a car payment anymore. This year, I'm focusing on my student loans. So in order to do that, of course, you have to actually be able to save money. So that's why I personally always focus on an out-of-pocket cost. I don't like spending a lot of money out of pocket when I go to the store and I go couponing, and I don't want you guys to have to pay a lot of money out of pocket either. So here's a quick insight for how I've been able to do it. So let's say the average family spends about $200 a month on household products. Now that does not include food. That would be a separate budget. So what falls under the category of household products? I'm talking about your laundry products, your fabric softener, your detergent, your scent beads, your dryer sheets. I'm talking about razors, oral care, hair care, anything that you guys need for your household, excluding food. So it's also going to be including lotion, diapers, paper products, which get super expensive, especially with the rising cost of prices right now and how much inflation is affecting all of the consumer goods that we're buying every single month. Couponing now is more important than ever. So if you're originally paying $200 a month in household goods, then you start couponing. You're able to cut that in half. So now you're able to get the same amount of products that you need for your family, if not more, for half the price. Now you're only spending $100 a month on those products. Well, that additional $100 that you were spending, you've already allocated to being able to spend that on these products. Now that's additional money that you can save and put that into a savings account or put that towards your debt. Make an additional payment to your car payment, make an additional payment to your credit card bill, so on and so forth. Whatever your financial goals are, you can use that difference, that savings to help you achieve them for this year. That's why I love couponing so much and that's a little bit of a background story on how I've been able to use couponing to help me pay off some of my debt. Now let's hop into the five steps so you can get started couponing with only $10. So in all of my classes, my courses, I always teach that you should start with just one store. This is really important because you don't wanna get yourself confused and overwhelmed, which can happen really easily when you're starting something new. So I recommend picking just one store. That way you can master that store, learn all of the ins, the outs, the tips and tricks to save the most money at that store. Learn their rewards program, how you use their rewards, how do you earn their rewards, so on and so forth. 
Now, preferably, I would recommend picking a store that has a rewards program, such as Walgreens, CVS, so on and so forth. Most drug stores and pharmacies are going to have a rewards program, but of course it does vary per brand. So just double check and see which ones near you offer a rewards program. CVS and Walgreens are two of my favorite stores that I love couponing at. So having a store that gives you rewards is going to help you keep your out-of-pocket cost much, much lower than if you were couponing at a store without rewards because what you can do is then use those rewards to help pay down your out-of-pocket cost. I don't know about you guys, but I would rather pay with the store's money than pay with my money. That's what you're doing when you're using the rewards. So step one is going to be to download the app of the store that you chose. Target, CVS, Walgreens, Dollar General, Family Dollar, they all have an app that you can download. Then of course, you wanna create an account completely free. This is where you're gonna be able to use the digital coupons and use them at checkout. You have to have an account. So make sure that you set up an account and use an email address that you have the password for, use a phone number that you have access to. So when they text you different rewards, when they text you different things, you'll have access. And that's the phone number that you are gonna be typing in at the checkout counter so that your digital coupons will work therefore helping you save a lot of money. You're also going to be able to see the digital coupons on that app. Now, the only app in the only store that I know of that does not offer digital coupons is Walmart. There is an app you can use instead, and I'll get into that in just a minute, but keep that in mind. All the other stores have apps and they have digital coupons on the apps. So once you get it downloaded, take a second, mess around with the app so you can get comfortable with it. Figure out where the weekly ad is so you can check out the current sales. Figure out where the digital coupons are so you can see what different deals and discounts there are available at that store. Now let's get into step number two. Look at that weekly ad. Now that you know how to use the app, you're going to look at the weekly ad. Figure out what products are on sale, what products are giving you back rewards, and what products have digital coupons available that you can use. The good thing about using digital coupons, it's completely free. Another thing you can do is use printable coupons, which are free to print. Now, of course, you do have the cost of paper and ink, and you do have to have a printer to print them, or you can always go to your local library, print them at your work, whatever the case may be. But Printing them from the website is free. It doesn't cost you anything from the website to print it. The website that I use for printable coupons is called coupons.com. It's completely free. You get new coupons printable every Sunday. So make sure you set an alarm on your phone. Check that website every single Sunday so that way you can print out some coupons. I do also have a link for you below in the description box with all the new printable coupons, so you can check that out, see if there's anything available right now as you're watching this video that you will be able to save on. So here's an example of a deal that is gonna be giving you back rewards. So for Walgreens, the current week, there is a deal on Crest. When you buy two Crests, you are going to get a $4 register reward, which is part of their rewards program. So doing deals like these, that is the best way to be able to start earning rewards and of course, you're gonna get some toothpaste, which is something that you can put in your stockpile. And when you are grabbing products that are giving you rewards, you're earning rewards that you can then use in your next transactions to lower your out-of-pocket costs. Step number three, keep your transactions small. This is so important. And this is probably the biggest mistake that I see a lot of new couponers making. They try to do every single deal that they want to do in one transaction. When you're first starting out, you're not going to have any rewards. You're not going to have any extra bucks for CVS. You're not going to have any Walgreens cash or register rewards for Walgreens. So if you're putting too many deals in your first transaction, your out-of-pocket cost is going to be really, really high. And remember, we want to keep it to just $10, $10 bill. So how you do that is using all of the free things available, like the app, the digital coupons, the printable coupons, so on and so forth. And 
keeping your out-of-pocket cost really low by only doing a few deals per transaction. I recommend keeping it as small as one to three deals per transaction when you're starting out. That way you can roll your rewards and consistently keep your out-of-pocket to $10 or less. Step four is then using those rewards. So in your first transaction, you're gonna do one to three deals. Those deals are gonna be giving you back some type of rewards from the store, whether it's Walgreens cash and register rewards if you're choosing Walgreens as your store, or extra bucks if you're choosing CVS as your store, both of which I do teach in my courses that I have available. I have one available for Walgreens, and one available for CVS. So if you're interested in either of those, if you wanna choose one of those as your store, for your one store that you coupon at, definitely check out the links below in the description box. You can book a completely free call with me to figure out how you want to start couponing, what your journey is gonna be, and how I can help you achieve your financial goals by couponing at one of those two stores. So definitely check that out if this is something that you're interested in really mastering and learning more of. So after you check out from your first transaction and you get your rewards back, you're then gonna hand the cashier everything that you're putting in your second transaction. Now, after all of the coupons come off, you are able to then use your rewards to lower your out-of-pocket cost. Hopefully, you're then only paying taxes out-of-pocket. That's how you can keep your out-of-pocket super low. So here is an amazing example for you. As you can see, you're putting a couple deals in your first transaction, all of which are giving you back rewards. You're then going to use those rewards to cover some of the out-of-pocket cost of your second transaction. This is super, super important, and this is why I recommend choosing a store that offers a rewards program. So as you can see in this example, you're keeping your out-of-pocket cost to just $10. So you're getting started couponing for just $10. That is all you're spending out-of-pocket, which is amazing. On my channel, I always promote keeping a low out-of-pocket cost. I know it's a big controversy controversy in the couponing world as far as people say things are free, but yet they're paying X amount out-of-pocket. So I wanna make sure that we're focusing on keeping your out-of-pocket low so that way you can budget correctly and actually be able to save that money because that is the name of the game. We coupon to save money. Now let's get into step number five. You want to start using rebate apps and rewards apps so that way you can start earning points towards gift cards, earning cash back, so on and so forth. There's a couple apps that I highly recommend you using. Again, they're completely free to download, so that's not going to factor in your $10 cost to get started couponing. First app I recommend using is Fetch Rewards. It is extremely easy to use. All you're doing is taking photos of your receipts and earning points. Those points you then cash out for gift cards. Then you can use those gift cards towards your food bill. They do offer Walmart gift cards. So as you're couponing, as you're shopping, you're scanning every single receipt. Whether you go to Aldi or Walmart, Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Kroger, you are scanning every single receipt on Fetch Rewards. That way you can earn points. So now you can cash in those points for gift cards. Say my budget for groceries is $250 for the month. Well now, say I have a $25 gift card to Walmart. Now I'm using that to lower my cost on my food bill. So using that and using reward apps is very, very important and another step in the process to helping you save more money. You can also, of course, cash that out for gift cards to CVS. So if you're couponing at CVS, you can cash in your points for a gift card. Use that gift card to lower your out-of-pocket cost or cover it completely. That's what I do every single Sunday when I go couponing and do my hauls at CVS. I teach that in the CVS course as well, how you can get $100 of product every single week and pay nothing out-of-pocket for it. So again, that is linked below if you are interested. Another app that is super amazing and free is the coupons.com app. Now, remember how I was talking about coupons.com, the website? Well, the app is the same thing, but it's a little bit different. You print coupons 
from the website. You cannot print coupons from the app, so keep that in mind. The app is gonna replace the coupons. So say there is a printable coupon for $2 off of one Nivea lotion. Maybe you don't have a printer. Maybe you forgot to print the coupon. Maybe you printed it and you left it at the house, whatever the case may be. Say you go to Walmart, you buy a Nivea lotion, it's $5. You don't use any coupon on it because you don't have any and you forgot your coupons. Instead, you can submit your receipt to the coupons.com app and get the $2 back. The good thing about this is there's no minimum to cash out and they will give you the money back to your PayPal account day of. So it's the same thing as if you were using a coupon. So that is definitely something I love about the coupons.com app. Another app that I use all the time that I totally love is Ibotta. Ibotta is a cashback app that gives you money back on specific items. Say they're gonna give you $2 back on Nivea, $1 back on Oral-B toothbrushes, so on and so forth. Fetch Rewards gives you points regardless of what you're buying. Ibotta gives you cash back based on specific items you're buying. I do have videos completely telling you exactly how to use these apps, full tutorials, linked below in the description box for Fetch Rewards. I have one for Shopkick. I have Swagbucks. I have Ibotta, the coupons.com app, you name it. Pretty much any rebate app that you want to use, I should have a tutorial on my channel for that. So if you really want to go in depth for how to use it, how to get your rewards, how to cash out your rewards and get the cash back or get the gift cards, definitely check out those tutorials linked below for you in the description box. And if you are new to any of the referral apps, my referral codes are also linked below for you. The good thing about these apps, except for the coupons.com app, most of the other apps are gonna give you a welcome bonus for signing up with a referral code. So that can be some extra cash in your account as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Drop a comment below. Let me know where you are on your couponing journey. I hope you're able to save hundreds and hundreds of dollars this year. Don't forget to smash the like button on this video if it's been helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.